this is a master class in marketing because right? everything that I've wanted to talk about today was just piggybacking right off of what Tracy said. Everything Tracy said was spectacular. But I want to point out something in social media that many of us have done for way too long. Mo most of us who have never been in this industry before think that posting on our timelines, whether it be in whatever platform, is doing the work. And I got to tell you, until you realize what it is that you do in social media and the algorithms and the, and the numbers, look at your friends list, your contact list, in your friends list on whatever platform that is. Imagine that that's your town. And every time that you make a post on social media, those are cars driving by. Every mm -hmm. time that those the people on that timeline, they're seeing it, your town is seeing what you're doing. So when you go try to market to your town, to the people in your town, they've already seen what it is that you're doing. They've already Googled it. They've already looked it up. They've already read reviews. They've already determined that they don't want to do what you're doing. I've done this endlessly. Some of the things that I'm witnessing is as I've got more time on my hands than most do, what I've witnessed is we have a bit of insanity problem. Some of y'all are posting with zero interactions, the same things over and over and over, hoping for a different result. Why? So what I wanna do today is try to fix this for everybody. So if you don't understand who your target market is, whether it's who your buyers are going to be. And one of the things I loved about what Tracy said about trying different platforms is that you can go online and Google, Google what demographics there are for different platforms. Twitter has got a higher age group than, say, Facebook. Instagram's got a, a lower uh, age group for uh, that, that market or that platform. If you know what your demographic is for who you want to market to and know, and I've said this so many times, if I was selling fishing poles, why would I blast social media? Up with, because not all of my friends want fishing poles. I had to learn this early on in this game because I was doing what all, most network marketers do today. I was in a travel club. And I thought everybody wanted my travel. I thought everybody needed my travel. But guys, not everybody wants what you have. And it's unfortunate that they probably need what we have, but they're, yeah. not, they're not always going to be your buyers. So you have to figure out a demographic and a specific target market that you want to build with in the journey in network marketing. And once you do... Go find those specific people and start adding them at a rate of 10 to 20 people a day as friends on whatever platform that you're building. So if, for instance, if I was selling fishing poles, I would go to a fishing group, go directly to the members because all of those people put themselves in that group. They all like fishing. And I would just start going to the members and adding. 10, 20 fishing lover people a day. If you guys are catching on to this, I hope you are just writing this down because this could change your whole business because it did mine. Start adding your target market as your new city people. Remember, your friends list is your town, is your city. If you bring more people who like what it is that you have to offer into your city, and then you start making posts, then you're going to see that some new people are going to be like, hey, I kind of like what they're talking about there. I kind of like what you're showing me here. And then you can start having those conversations. Guys, social media is about being social. I'm not the best social media guy, but I am definitely the biggest outreach guy you're probably yes. ever going to meet. And I will literally only yes. spend time now, now, because I've learned, and like Tracy said, you're going to make, you, if you're not willing to make mistakes, this might not be the right field for you. Be a customer. Have fun with the products. 